Hi fellow reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video I thought I'd dedicate it on when it comes to PO4 which is phosphates and NO3 which is nitrates how can you regulate those simply by using fish food. So I went ahead and I embarked in a research on the different types of foods you have like of course you have dry foods like pellets and flakes and then you have the frozen foods and each of those types each of those two uh, each category has its pros and cons when it comes to raising or lowering phosphates or raising or lowering nitrates so I thought I uh, dedicate this video to that topic and then first of all I'm going to talk about phosphates and uh, how it behaves when it comes to fish foods and then nitrates and so based on that if you for instance if you want to keep a low uh, I mean if your phosphates are in check but you need to raise nitrates then I'll explain on this video uh, how to do that and the uh, reverse if your nitrates are in check but you need to raise your phosphates what type of foods to actually use so I hope you enjoyed this video and let's take a deep dive into it. Hold on. Okay, so here we are in front of the tank. I thought I, as I go along, you'll have a full shot of the tank. And if you notice, which uh, I'll, I'll do um, reviews on it, uh, I got a Gorgonian. It's on the lower left-hand side as you're watching. Uh, right below it, of course, you have the Lobo. And then I, I got another uh, Montipora that's all the way up next to the purple cap they had 20% off on worldwide corals it's a beautiful uh, Monty it's like uh, I mean it really doesn't pick up the colors although this camera is way up there high end but I'll give you a description it's like a yellow mustard color and uh, let's hope that it uh, makes it so Moving along, let's go into the uh, topic. Okay, first I'm going to talk about phosphates. Now, when it comes to phosphate, fish and corals should be fed daily for the fish's health and the coral's health also. Um, I, be honest with you, prior, not too long ago, I would feed him uh, uh, every other day when it came to corals and fish. But my nutrients were very, very low. When I'm referring to nutrients, well, of course, my nitrates were undetectable and so was my phosphates. And that's a no-no when you try to keep corals, especially Montes and, and up, uh, acros and all that. Okay, now, phosphates in, per, in particular, uh, something called polyphosphates, are often used as preservatives for foods Fish foods, especially like flakes, flake foods, pellets, and ground coral foods. Now, feeding your tank once, twice, or more a day could be unknowingly adding extra phosphates into your tank. Knowing it will create, of course, bright, colorful, and healthy corals. Now, switching to frozen quality foods will lower your PO4, in other words, your phosphates, in which you're looking for a target test reading of around, I would say your phosphate should be between 0.02 for SPS and LPS, and around 0.05 for soft corals. Now, when it comes to nitrates, in general, when you feed your fish, your uh, nitrates will tend to raise from the food and also fish food. So um, what I'm saying there is that of course the more fish you have, the more your nitrates are gonna go up and the more you feed your fish, the more they're gonna secrete, you know, fish poop, which creates nitrates. Now, it is known that frozen foods have higher protein because of course, Frozen foods, usually, 90% of them are brine shrimp, mice shrimp, uh, a mixture of scallops and all that. And if you go to other videos, uh, like Reef Bomb and, and all these other videos that they prepare their own foods, 
what uh, to, to feed the uh, fish. What do they, uh, what's the mixture? The ingredients, if you notice, scallops, shrimp, um, fish. So it's, it's proteins. So when it comes to proteins, um, any food that, that contains proteins, I mean, we're, we're talking about, about, of course, fish foods, uh, that will uh, create higher nitrates. Now, when it comes to nitrates, nitrate levels in your reef should be between 5 and 10 when tested. Now this is for reef keeping. Those are the, the levels that, that you should have. Now you have to be careful because higher results, uh, you're asking for trouble, you're running the risk of nuisance algae starting to creep up in your reef. So you should have a, either a traceable amount, one or two parts, but the targeted amount of uh, parts per million of nitrates for a reef should be between 5 and 10. And then finally, in general, as I was talking when it came to the intro, if, uh, you know, using what I have just explained and now the final uh, formula, the results, in general, if you need to raise your nitrates, well, you should use more frozen fish foods. And if you need to raise your phosphates, of course, then you should use more dry foods. So that's, you know, it's a give and take, it's a balance. You have to uh, check out um, what's, this, what's in check and what is not. So like in my case, as we speak, um, my phosphates were a uh, bit high. Matter of fact, I had a phosphates of uh, point uh, 0 0.31, that's very high. So, as you notice on the, that I do have a reactor with raw phos, a GFO, I turned it on and I, I kept my protein uh, skimmer on 24-7 and now it's down to 20. This was, this was last week's reading, I'm pretty sure it keeps going down. But, one of the contributor factors upon reading and doing this research, what I was doing is, I was feeding frozen foods only uh, twice a week. And the rest of, of the days I was uh, using pellets. I used to use the uh, flake foods, but I stopped using it because some fish don't like it and I had an issue with it, you know, uh, dropping down through the water column and all that. So I was feeding more pellet foods uh, than actually frozen foods. So that's uh, one of the reasons why my phosphates went up and then uh, my, ni uh, my nitrates are very, very low. Um, I'm running now about, I'd say, between one and two parts. That's, that's not enough when it comes to uh, keeping the SPS or acros. So, so what is the regimen that I'm using? I, uh, I'm lowering when it comes to using uh, the pellet foods and then I'm raising the amount of frozen foods. So um, the, the, uh, the fish are, are kept healthy and at the same time uh, my nitrates will go up to a safe level. So this is really a give and take. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it interesting, educational and fun. If you did, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Next to it there's that little bell, that's the notification bell. So when you activate that, you activate your device every time I upload a video, which is usually weekly. You'll be the first ones to be notified that I did so. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, bye-bye.